Today we are cutting one, two, and three very, very chunky agates. And I'm cutting all three of these for Isaac. He sent them over for us to cut open and share with all of you. So I'm really excited to see what's inside these three. This one is a condor agate, the biggest condor agate I have ever cut open. Oh, oh my gosh, the colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. The colors, so beautiful. It's got that beautiful quartz pocket. You can see it's trying its best to be a geode agate. Oh my gosh, this is so great. These lines right here, these are from my saw blade. I'm using the thick centered blade today because these agates are so, so big. My gosh, the color in there, that's unbelievable. So, so beautiful. Wow, it almost looks like it has multiple flow channels. Looks like it's got one there, there, even uh, up and over here. Wow, those are awesome and what a great way to start this cutting session. Oh gosh, look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful flow channel right there. So good. All right, let me show you our next agate that we're gonna cut open. Now this one is really, really fun. Beautiful bands all over it. Beautiful geode pocket up here and over here. Phenomenal and massive, absolutely massive crystal impressions left all over the husk. I love the very few occasions that I have actually found agates with these crystal impressions in them. It is so cool that at one point stuck with crystals in there or the agate formed around the crystals and then the crystals wore away over time because they're a little softer. Who knows, right? We weren't there, but we're here now and we're going to cut this thing and they've directed me to cut this one right through here. So we're going to cut it through this chunky part see what's hiding inside. I hope this quartz ends right behind there and we get this beautiful pattern inside. So let's do that. Oh. Man, two cuts in and my hands are already cramping. <laughs> because these have bigger faces with the thick blade, it takes a lot longer to cut, but the thick blade can handle the bigger cut. So I'm excited to see what's in this one. And I think I forgot to mention, they let me know that they got this one and the next one at a rock shop in Washington. They're not exactly sure on the variation and I'm not exactly sure either. They weren't sure if it was a Washington agate. Some people said that they were from elsewhere. If you know the variation, leave a comment, let us know, help us out so we can figure out what kind it is. But let's see. Oh, oh gosh, that looks like it's just lit up. Oh, it's so pretty. As you expect, you know, the husk is dark and everything. It's dark in there, but gosh, gosh, that is wild. That's so pretty. And I'm very glad that that quartz didn't run too deep in there. It's, I think it's pretty. It's a good little, oh, we just, if we would have gotten another, you know, few millimeters in, the curve of the blade would have caught you. Maybe would have got some down here, but oh, that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. That is so pretty. Wow. It's like bubbly bands. <laughs> oh, that is great. So sweet. Well, we have our last egg to cut. I wonder what's going to be inside. <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. So many beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm really excited to see that pattern. 
right in the middle and hopefully these it looks like blues hopefully those blues running through as well so pretty and as you can guess we're gonna cut it right down the middle I'm very very excited this is gonna be awesome looks like a piece of steak Well, that one definitely took the cake for longest cut. Hopefully it is worth it. I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is perfect. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. So this tells me this is stained on the outside. Totally stained on the outside. The inside is pure. Look at those white bands. This is another flow channel, I believe. So crazy. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I'm just in shock with these. These are so beautiful. So pretty. Wow. This is definitely my favorite, <laughs> hands down my favorite one. Again, if you know the variation, I'm sorry, squirrel, I'm now seeing this black band right here. That is crazy. I don't see black too often in the color schemes with agates. That is so great. But if you know the variation of this one, as well as, this guy right here. Please let me know. These are so awesome. And then this really phenomenal condor agate. So great. All of them are studs. Makes me happy because these are going right on back to Isaac. Hopefully makes him as happy as it makes me because these are perfect. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun cutting adventure. This was a blast. See you next time. Bye.